I've been gone for a minute, but now I'm back with the jump off. Goons in the cut in case something jumps off. In the cut. <laughs> Yeah, to stimulate my mind with some metaphysical fire breathing conversation. When I stroke your energy, I feel elated. No, no, it drives me crazy. Hello, you all. It's me, Destiny of Manifest by Destiny. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been kind of MIA, but I am back. I am here. And today, I'm using my hands, <laughs> no. but today I have a witchy haul for you all. And I have three videos that I'm going to shoot, um, a tarot and oracle haul, a witchy book haul, and a witchy home decor haul. And as you saw from the thumbnail and the title, today will be a witchy home decor haul. Whew, can I get the words out? Yeah, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned. But before we get into the video, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm at like 2,000 subscribers. And I just want to say thank you to all of you all who subscribe to me and leave very loving and beautiful and supportive and engaging comments. And um, yeah, this is all of the stuff that we'll be looking at over here real quick and simple. I'm not going to give it all away. Where did I go? I went to Marshall's. I went to TJ Maxx, um, Dollar Tree, Walmart was really good this year. Did I say Michael's? I went to Hobby Lobby, but you got you. I did not understand until this year that Hobby Lobby, because I guess it's a Christian place, they don't celebrate Halloween. Like you can create your own Halloween themed things from from the items that are there, but they don't have any like exclusively Halloween themed items, and that kind of hurt my feelings. I was just kind of upset when I figured that out this year. Yeah. So I want to start with my first purchase, my the one that I'm the most excited about. Um, I have a front doormat. Mm, it's oh my gosh did it just pick up all that <sighs> dust that fell on me okay well here's the mat and it says witches witches gather here and i got this from gabe's it's usually supposed to be 12 dollars. i got it for 5.99 so next i'm going to go into the cups that i have so i'm not really going to go by store i'm going to go kind of by theme of item I have a charmed mug which I got from the spirit Halloween or Halloween spirit store um, and it has this charmed symbol the Trinity symbol on the back and the word charmed and it's charmed charmed so this was $9.99 but it is definitely a very good mug it's not like um it's a heavy mug and it doesn't have like decorations on it so I feel like it won't get broken easily like most of my mugs do that have like nice things hanging off of them and then I got this mug for $3.99 100% that witch and I want to say this was like for Marshall's or um, TJ Maxx but I'm pretty sure this one was was for Marshall's and today I actually got the Hogwarts mug. I was looking for a Slytherin one, but I didn't think I was gonna come across it before this haul video. So I decided um, just to purchase this one. This was, I think it was like $5 or so, so five or $6 from Walmart. And it says Hogwarts and it has Hufflepuff, Slytherin, um, Gryffindor and Ravenclaw, all of their mascots on there. And it says school of witchcraft and wizardry just can't you just see me like drinking from this mug just wow you guys i've been doing this video and i don't have any earrings on i'm back i have earrings on i just decided to do two different earrings the skeleton hand and the i was about to say snake the spider Whew. Then from Walmart, I got some little sippy cups. I'll probably replace these straws with my stainless steel straws, but aren't they so cute? I love skulls. <laughs> but yeah, I have like a more light and airy one and then like a super dark iridescent looking one. Of course you can see through this one. So I think this would be cute. Like if there's fruit in your water, 
hand wash only so keep that in mind um, but this one I just really like that the way it looks like and even if I wanted to I could take these out and repurpose these home decor is all about repurposing you know from Walmart I got some simple colors claws pro nail art manicure and this is the snake charmer set and look at that isn't that just like look and so cute I think this would be cute because of course I'm gonna dress up as a Slytherin student this year again in my house I'm gonna have a couple other costumes that I want to do comment down below that too like let's interact what type of Halloween costumes or cosplay makeup would you like to see me do during the month of October? But yeah, I thought these would be cute for my Slytherin costume. And usually I get like two wears out of false nails press on. So um, just wearing these any other time would be cute. They're very fall and very witchy. So next at Gabe's, I got a very like um, generic t-shirt. So it's supposed to be $8. I got it for $3.99. And it says the cutest witch on the block. And I thought this was just so cute. Um, even if it's just something I throw on or I don't really wear jeans. So I would probably wear this like under a cardigan um, with like a high-waisted skirt. That's like more my style. But yeah, it's really, really cute. Cutest witch on the block. That's me, of course. So I just felt it was necessary for me to get this shirt. I was at Target recently doing like a skincare beauty makeup haul. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. I was just really getting new things. I want to try new stuff. I'm trying to like bring myself back to reality slowly but surely. I found this shirt. It says drink up witches, you know, and put my, oh no, put my red wine in here. So it looks like I'm drinking blood mm -hmm. and I like gray because I feel like gray can go with many different things. And um, yeah, the shirts just happen to be gray. I have Halloween two bleeding taper candles so taper candles they're bleeding candles what does that mean i'm not necessarily sure because i've never used them before but they come with two in a pack they're like 224 so like less than three dollars for two if you look at them they have like a red tint to them i think you can kind of see it if you look up at the top so from my understanding is like when you light these candles the wax comes off as red on top of the white so like a bleeding candle so I got uh, I had one and then I went back and got two more today the last two that I saw there so now I have six of these whoa and this brings me into my next purchase so that brings me into my next purchase a Martha Stewart candle holder and I was like well I couldn't believe Martha Stewart made this like shout out to you Martha like, isn't this just beautiful this candle holder was $12.99 and I'm thinking that I might want to um, spray paint this gold because when I was at Big Lots I found a mirror and this is like the gothic from the gothic glamour collection that they have which I think is going to um, really inspire me in my next home oh sorry I'm not trying to blind y'all yeah, it has the velvet on the back very small mirror but it's nice and clear and I think it will look good on a vanity I was wondering if I should DIY this as a makeup brush holder or just keep it with the bleeding candles as decor. I think it would be so cute. But do you think I should spray paint this gold to match this? Or I don't know. I'm not really into matching. I think that I like mixed metals and black. Like that's something that's going to be very present in my room when I design it. So this tabletop mirror, it um, retailed for $12, but I got it for $9.99 because it was on discount. I think because so many people aren't buying things this year, stuff is going on discount early and they're not really putting out much of a selection. Like I noticed as I was going to the stores, a lot of the things looked like they did last year or just didn't stick out, didn't speak to me. So I found this little decorative cat for $1.98 from Walmart. Isn't she so cute with the green eyes and, oh, and the little pink nose? But yeah, you know, you could use this to store your rings, your jewelry, which I have so much of. But I want to um, probably do some type of decor transformation with this so I can make it something that I could hang on the wall. Because I really love gallery walls and I think this adds something different to a gallery wall. 
Next, I got this from Michaels. I think this one was on sale too, but I'm not sure. Who knows? I think it was on sale, but it was the last one. And this is a glow in the dark. Um, well, not glow in the dark. It lights up. So if I pull this little tab down here and hit the on switch, this lights up. Oh, and it says it was for $14.99. I think I got it for like $12 or something, but yeah. It's DIY ceramic. I can paint this. So I'm thinking probably I'm going to paint this like the traditional purple, black, um, orange type of hat. I don't know because there's a crescent moon in there. There's stars. I don't think I can actually unstuck this part. It was glued down. I unstuck it because I was like, could I paint on the inside? Because how cool would that be? Oh, okay. How cool would that be if you would like could light this up and then it was like green, glow in the dark green on the inside or something. Next, I have like little, what are these called? Box signs. Because I love signs. You're going to see pretty soon how much I love signs. <laughs> um, and like I said, anything that has the word witch in it, I'm basically buying it. Uh, I didn't really want to do orange, so I may have to like color this black. Like paint this black but i got this one from walmart and it was 2.98 and i got this one from gabe's and it was 3.99 this one says you say i'm a witch like it's a bad thing <laughs> and this one says life's a witch and then you fly really cute next i have some spiritual tools or all of these really will be spiritual tools for me but these are straight up spiritual tools i got some crystals one from tj maxx one from marshall's here i have Fuchsite, Fuchsite, which is like a green iridescent crystal. I'm going to put the, the other one down. Uh, it says it's supposed to retail for $8. I got it for $5.99. Um, Fuchsite is known as a healer stone. It comes in various shades of green with amazing sparkle and shimmer. The stone adds friendliness and compassion to your life. and It speaks to your heart chakra. Yeah, I really like how they packaged it. They have it labeled correctly. And then they, they don't have like that glue on it like a lot of people do. They have like a fabric and a tie around it, which I really like. And then next from TJ Maxx, I got a, a um, pyrite crystal, which they labeled as quartz. But for me, pyrite is good for prosperity, solar energy, um, it has sulfur in it, which I do recommend. Like when you go to buy crystals, because when they labeled it as quartz, I was like, what? I know this is pyrite. Maybe they mean it has quartz in it, in it. And then I was like, let me smell it. I think I scratched, scratched it to see if like something would come off or what would happen. And I was like, okay, this feels about real. But when I went like this, I think I smell sulfur in it. I'm not sure if pyrite has sulfur in it, but um, I have a piece of sulfur over there and I love to smell it. So I think this does too. So I know for sure that this is like authentic and a lot of my really nice pieces, you can see some over there, I've gotten from Home Goods, Marshalls, um, TJ Maxx, because they sell them as home decor, not at the prices that they sell them at the crystal shops. Not that I don't mind, of course, you know, I don't mind buying the really expensive crystals, but if I can get something like this for $7, and they say it should be $13, I'll do it. So at Target, in the dollar section, I found this little $5 um, tiered tray, and it's wood. And I've noticed that I have to be careful because they didn't finish it. So, um, and this was the last one there. But like when I said they didn't finish it, like this isn't smoothed out. So you could get a splinter from it. But I thought this would just be cute for home decor to put maybe like some air plants. I had an air plant. It died. Um, air plants, maybe another plant down here, other crystals just to um, give height and like to take up some space or like take up less space, but give more space. What am I trying to say? To take up dead space. I'm learning about dead space. And I feel like that kind of, cause it goes up, it gives you more storage room. So lastly, I just got some signs um, that will go in my witchy room when I get my witchy room. So here I have, I'm a good witch most of the time. So I got this from Walmart. It's a wall sign. It was 368. And if you look, um, I could hang it like this. So I could get like some type of nail or something and hang it, or I could do string and hang it like that as well. But it's a pretty nice size. And 
<sighs> I got multiples because I couldn't decide which one to get. So I got this one. I got the Yes, the Wicked Witch does live here. 368 as well, <laughs> or 364 as well. And then it has that little metal thing. And the last sign that I got from Walmart was the witch is in or the witch is out. And I just got this because I thought it would be a good way to communicate with my boyfriend. Like if I'm filming, which is in, or if I'm like not filming, you can come in and I'm just regular old destiny. <laughs> and lastly, of course, from the Dollar Tree, I can't forget about my baby, the Dollar Tree. I have um, a come in for a spell sign. And I did have this sign that I really liked. It said, a wicked witch lives here with her handsome devil and their ghoulish kids or their little monsters but I don't have any kids and um yeah that was the only reason I didn't get it because I didn't want to like do any false advertisement or jinx myself into having kids so yeah so this is the last thing that I got of course this was a dollar and this one um has that uh twine string on there that's why I'm like maybe I'll do the other ones like that and this does have glitter on it. So I think with this one, I'll probably have to do some type of spraying on it to make sure the glitter doesn't all come off. But I feel like it would be really easy to put glitter back on there since it's just black glitter. So yeah, that was my witchy haul of the Halloween 2020 season. I may do another one, I don't know, because I feel like I didn't really get to touch as, as much, um, uh, what? I didn't get to go as many places I wanted to because of all this stuff like even when I go shopping it's like very therapeutic for me so now when I go shopping it just heightens my anxiety it makes me um just feel out of place and that's not good for someone who is into like retail therapy you know if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and do so it's free um it just really helps me and makes me feel good because it makes me it lets me know that what I'm doing really matters and that you're listening and that you really want to come back for more yeah. As always, it's me, Destiny, of Manifest by Destiny. I have a quote. Even when life gives you lemons, don't forget to manifest your destiny. <laughs> I don't know. That's all I have. Bye. Maybe I'll stimulate my mind with some metaphysical vibe-breathing conversation.